Hello G.I. Joe fans, it is Wednesday, September, uh, I want to say the 13th, and I want to show you all this vehicle, this is not a cheap vehicle, this is 100% military, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it looks like a damn NBC chamber, it looks like a completely airtight, symmetrically square box, and they don't make anything symmetrically square in the military, except something like that, either it's medical or it's chemical. And it's here in desert camouflage in the Oregon dunes where camouflage is the correct camouflage to be in. If you're not urban, you're going to be right on the coast. You need to be in the desert. So he's in the right camouflage. He has got a very advanced, expensive looking communications wand above his vehicle. And it's diesel and it's been sitting here running for at least a half an hour already. And you know, money ain't growing on trees and neither is gas. But this guy's running it like he's got plenty. And this is like a hundred thousand dollar plus vehicle, guys. At least a hundred grand. Probably more like 150, 200,000. And this guy's gonna go use it as a four-wheeler on the dunes. Does that make sense to any of you? Really? Think about that for a minute. Take a two hundred thousand dollar camouflage tan, not sexy looking rig out under the desert to do what? It doesn't hit the jumps, guys. This thing is not for farting around in. This is for maintaining a position in combat so it can react like they think we're going to get hit with chemical weapons or something on the coast that would be creepy but there goes your next covid pandemic huh I asked him if he's cia he said no but would you any of you think you, they would have said yes if they were cia whoever it is they got a lot of damn money this is gi joe peace out